Yo che for your makwa badali update TV be sese na number channel so am be hit your number subscribe. But like a shama wone pen semi be tie so nya be ati me sese o bejemre. Na da je ne ya bo run sim ni nya kuti nsema ne de etwegu ni nyina ye ma mudu ba o mia ho nsem ne de etwegu na same je mfia ba bontim. Eche mu se upeni papa on kan o kure pa wa manyisema. E ma mudu ba o mia. O che mu se ba wo mia ye ni pa wo nka no kra 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 ensema otimi ba de brega na fo nya na okure bie ni na e di enti na masemi genfi e kasa ati fo mr se beboro na sami genfi di ensem fufuru bi e fa bank of ghana ni ensem bi abetutu dwa e mekura na asho ke mekakra na ye nyemre ni adaji ye mungu ye kuti sami genfi ye ba de ka ho bia ye nso ye de ba abedomo the first thing you need to ask yourself is whether or not this person deserves my trust mm -hmm. whether or not i can trust this person because the credibility of the messenger is more important than the credibility of the message really yes because if i don't trust you as a person nothing you say matter as for promises anybody can promise you heaven and earth anybody can promise you paradise anybody can say anything because they need something from you the most important thing is whether they are credible whether they have a proven track record of integrity and credibility whether they have a proven track record of honesty and truthfulness that is the most important thing mm -hmm. and you see and if we are to approach this conversation from this standpoint we will we will realize that but for the fact that there are many unsuspecting people out there who may not have the capacity to decipher the facts relative to economic issues for themselves and are likely to be hoodwinked by lies we should not even waste precious airtime discussing Bahamia. that the only reason why it is worth discussing this speech is because of the innocent Ghanaian out there who may not have a deeper appreciation of certain issues about the economy, finance, and so on. The need for us to help such people come to the realization of the truth. That is the only reason why this exercise is productive. Either than that, why should anybody, why should any reasonable man take Dr. Bawumia serious again? This is the vice president of the republic. Is the presidential why candidate should, of the MPP. Why should anybody take Bawumia serious? Bawumia. Why, why, why shouldn't? Bawumia. Why, why shouldn't? The man who, in his bid to become vice president of this country, mm. told Ghanaians that he has worked at the Bank of Ghana before. He knows that the money is here in Ghana. And that we don't have to borrow for roads. All we need to do as a country, according to Bahumia, was to tow roads in this country. And, then we will, and that we will be able to raise enough money to build all the roads we need. And he said he was able to say that because he has worked at the Bank of Ghana before. Doc, think about this statement. Reflect on it. Which person who has a modicum of sincerity can make such an outrageous statement we don't have to borrow for rules all you need to do is to tow the rules today under him as chairman of the economic management team an advisory body we will get there mm. we'll get there we have so much borrowed that our public debt has increased from 120 billion as of december 2016 when president Mahama was leaving office to over 600 billion as of December 2022, such that for the first time Ghana has defaulted on its debt obligations. The first time in about four decades. Plus, I mean, you know the EMT does not contract loans. You that, know that. I will come there. Yes. Doc, look, maybe let me just deal with this now. Hmm. What is the full meaning of EMT? Sometimes we don't even have to go into certain technicalities. Right, certain that's, things, that's certain things are commonsensical mm. what is the meaning of emt economic management team all of us here in this studio we are educated 
we know the importance of West. Mm. It is not economic advisory team. Yeah. It is economic management team. What is the meaning of management? But the reality, Sammy, you know uh -huh. that the reality is that the EMT, uh -huh. the EMT uh -huh. is subservient to cabinet. No. Listen. It is. Listen. The EMT yes. is a component of cabinet. Yes. It's a subcomponent. Now, it is that yes. component of cabinet mm -hmm. which is responsible for the management of the economy. That is what I'm trying to say. It's, the EMT mm. is a component of cabinet. Mm. And it is that component of cabinet mm -hmm. which is responsible for managing the economy. Managing the economy means what? That is why it is called economic management team and not advisory team. Managing the economy means what? They coordinate and implement government's economic policies. And that is why in that cabinet, all the ministers who are in one way or the other responsible for econ the economy, mm -hmm. whether it is trade, whether it is a Greek, mm -hmm. whether it is finance, they are all members of that economic management team. That is it. Assuming without admitting, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. Assuming without admitting mm -hmm. that the economic management team is even advisory, which yes. is not. But assuming without admitting that it is. So what body is responsible for managing the economy of Ghana? What body? The finance minister. No. The finance minister mm. is a member. He at the ENT mm. is under the vice president. Yes. His boss is the vice president. Yes. The finance minister is just responsible for the implementation of the fiscal economic policies. The fiscal economic yes. policy yes. of government. Yes. The monetary economic policy is dealt with or BOG. implemented by the Bank of Ghana. Yes. All of them are part of the economic management team. Yes. Their chairman is Baumia. Yes. So, listen, no, hold on, let me go step by step. Mm. So, this whole claim that EMT is advisory mm. is a barefaced lie. Why? Why? Dr. Baumia, yes. the chairman of the economic management team, yes. on his own website, let's listen to what he says about his role mm. as chairman of the economic management team. Mm. And let's see if that role, Dr. 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 Bagumia himself talks about, mm. is an advisory mm. role. Mm. He says, Dr. Mahamadou Bagumia is a vice president of the Republic of Ghana. Mm. This is Bagumia's own website. Mm. He chairs the economic management team, which is broadly responsible for shaping the government's policies and guiding their implementation. Mm -hmm. So, they don't just advise, they shape the policies. Mm -hmm. They guide the implementation, according to Baumia. He is at the forefront of a broad and inclusive development strategy in Ghana, involving, among others, the leveraging of digitized government services to transform delivery of public services and digitalizing the economy mm -hmm. with an overall objective of building Ghana's digital economy, and so on and so forth. So clearly, if you listen to what Dr. Bawomia himself says about the role of the EMT, he doesn't talk about anything advisory. He talks about implementation. He talks about shaping policies. Look, the primus inter Paris in this government is none other than none other than Yes. He, his word is what matters on who has what role. Because he's the president and he has ultimate responsibility for everything. And as president, he has delegated. Eti for uti in sema yira sami gemfi edi tudreya. Uti mse yes MPP the bi ay makase. The reason why a MPP ama confusion ACC party nimno majority na ye media jau media jau wa mame si ni si ni was oh he eka MPP for abe brogu ho amo maingana. Eti for. Ano edene, ano edene. Iti for yentuwa in semiso. Certain responsibilities to people. And Anadu Danko Ekufwa, the times with that number, has told us that when it comes to the economy, the man in charge is Babumia, not Ken Ufuriaka. You want us to ignore Ekufwa's word and listen to who? Richard Ayaba. No, but listen, listen, listen. But, hold on, hold on. But, but, no, but, let's go Sammy, step by step. Sammy, Sammy, let, the let, vice president himself is the one who has said that the EMT is advisory. And I'm saying that yes. he has only said so mm -hmm. because he knows 
that the government of which he is a part of, which he is pretending not to be a part of, mm -hmm. he is pretending now to be an opposition leader in his own government. A government is a vice president. Mm -hmm. He is saying that his role is just advisory because he knows that that government has been an abysmal failure. He knows that that government has destroyed the Ghanaian economy. Mm -hmm. And so like Pontius Pilate, like Judas Iscariot, he had decided to betray his master. He had decided to wash his hands of the mess and exculpate himself from liability. So it is not what the man says now that he is about to seek our vote as presidential candidate that matters. It is what he said on his website many months or years before now that matters. And if you look at what he said, he was emphatic that the economic management team is responsible for guiding the implementation of government policies, for shaping government policies and so on. And I'm saying his boss, Akufuado, in opposition, told us, his handicap, he said the economy was challenged then. He studied economics in school. He didn't do too well. He ended up with a third class. He veered into law, did quite well in law. So on public platforms, he told the entire nation, and you have the video, you've been playing it, mm. that he has seen this young man who was very instrumental in the government of Kufo, worked at Bank of Ghana and was instrumental in the redenomination of the CD and many of the reforms that happened at the time. And this man is Bahomia. So he was bringing Bahomia to help him come and stabilize the CD, arrest the dollar, stabilize the economy and so on and so forth. Look, when Akufuado was making this statement, Bahomia was nodding. Bahomia never said that I'm coming to only advise you. I will not be responsible for managing the economy. You have not experienced Okay, hold on. Then in opposition, this same Bawomia headlined all the economic lectures and programs of the MPP. He was the one who was projected as their economic messiah, their economic whisked, who went about propounding textbook economic theories and pretending to have the magic wand to solve all the problems of Ghana. Mm. It was Bawumia. Mm. That alone makes him responsible for the mess of this government. Because it was many of the things he said which Ghanaians relied on to vote for this government. If he didn't even end up as a vice president and he chose to maybe sit back, he would still be responsible. Do you understand? That alone. Then, when the government took office and began to implement its economic policies, it was Bawomia, not the finance minister, not anybody, who held all government programs, announcing the achievements. In fact, the first ever program that the government organized was after their first 100 days in office. And that is when they outlined their first 100 day achievements. Bawomia was the one who headlined it. He spoke at a function. That is the program where he said he had arrested the dollar and given the keys to the IGP. Doc, you remember that? Mm -hmm. What was a, a, a mere advisor doing at that platform? Where, where, so he is the mere advisor. Who is the implementer? So why, why was he the one leading all those things? Then, the tape you played when we went on break. This president, Akufuado, who has a final say on the roles of everybody under him, in his 2018 State of the Nation address to the nation, this is what he said. I am glad to be able to report that the economic management team, under the stellar leadership of the strong, brilliant economist, Vice President Bawumia, has risen to the challenge. Advisors rose to the challenge. Okay, just, just, just for, for clarity. Let's, let's <laughs> has watch. risen to the challenge. Let's watch. And the work is beginning to show positive results. Let's watch exactly what President Kufado said. I'm glad to be able to report, Mr. Speaker, that the economic management team, under the stellar leadership of the strong, brilliant economist, <laughs> Vice President, Vice President Mohamed Mbouaoumia has risen to the challenge and the hard work is beginning to show positive results. Uh, that we, we, we make sure that... I'm glad to be able to report, Mr. Speaker, that the economic management team 
under the stellar leadership of the strong, brilliant economist, <laughs> Vice, Pre <laughs> Vice President Muhammad Mbuangmiya, has risen to the challenge and the hard work is beginning to show positive results. So this is it. West don't die. This president Akufu, I don't Baumia was in this, was in attendance. So if he was a mere advisor, this is an address to parliament. why was the president giving him the credit for so-called positive results in economic performance? He is the one responsible for the economy. The president told us in opposition that he will be the one responsible. But Womia himself presented himself as the one who will be responsible in opposition. When they came into office, he held the first press conference aligning their economic achievements. He even adored the economic management team and said, what a solid team, not knowing they were all empty barrels. He did that. President Akufuadu gave him the credits for so-called positive results and he was happy. He celebrated it. He was happy with his boss. He, Baomiya himself, takes credit for achievements of this government. Look, what does one million, uh, one constituency, one ambulance, what has it got to do with Baomiya? One constituency, one ambulance. He says that the president delegated him to do certain things. So he's taking, then by, by that same logic, then he cannot take, you see, you cannot approbate and reprobate. In one breath, you can't say, I was not responsible for anything, I was a mere advisor. Or I was only given delegated authority. Then in another breath, all the positive achievements Richard can talk about as achievements of this government, but Wumia says the fans must come to me. He doesn't even mention the Kufuad. Could it not be uh -huh. that as vice president, uh -huh. the president gave him specific assignments? Yes. So for example, yes. Richard explains to Number us. Number one on that list of specific assignments was the economy. And that is why Kufuado was giving him no, credit he, he, for he, positive he, results. Per, per what he said, he disputes that. No, he doesn't dispute that because on his website, yes. he says that he chairs the economic management team, which shapes government policies and guide the implementation I'm of government policies. what policy. he said yesterday. But what he said yesterday yes. is a lie, and that is the point I'm making. And it is a lie because it contradicts everything he has said before, mm. everything Kufuado has said. Mm. So, Doc, let's go on. Mm. Look, when Baumia in opposition wanted somebody to ask you know him questions about the state of the economy then who did he direct his questions to vice president Mizata. Mizata. Mm. so Mizata, he did he, he was a president he was not he was not a mere advisor yet Bawumia could direct 170 questions to him why if Bawumia knows that advice for the master summer jibra or daily update tv after your comment session i'm going to comment to her now notification bell on the ssm back like it so see a drop in the info bia monso monsa ebe can be edamase